Uh, thank you very much, Senator Kane. Let me recognize Senator Blackburn, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and congratulations to each of you on your nominations, and thank you for your time today to answer our questions. Um, Mr. Cisneros, I want to start with you, and let me just say I'm going to have questions for the record for each of you. I know I'm not going to get through all of this, but Mr. Cisneros, um, we talk a lot about readiness in this community, and of course, uh, at, through the years, whether I was in the House or here working with Fort Campbell uh, and many of our families that are there, we've talked a lot more than just about personnel and training and equipment. We talk about families mm -hmm. and family readiness. And um, I, I think that as we look more holistically at our military and as we look at dwell times and retention, then we need to look at the fed family readiness component. And I'd like to hear from you how you think we can better account for family readiness and what we can do with some of the programs that have been successful, like the Family Advocacy Program and the New Parent Support Program, which has been vital for many of our young men and women, uh, the Exceptional Family Member Program. Um, all of these are overseen by the Under Secretary for Personnel and Readiness. So do you believe that when we're looking at these and trying to find ways to accounting for these, that we're receiving the right degree of feedback from these participants in these programs? Well, thank you, Senator, for that question, and thank you for your, your work on this topic and uh, taking time also to speak with me uh, when we did earlier. I believe a, a month or two ago. Yeah. But, um, you know, there's a saying, right? You recruit the member, but you retain the, right. the family. And it, it's, it's so important, right, that we need to focus on these family uh, topics. Uh, you know, for example, uh, when I was in the House of Representatives, uh, I remember sitting in a hearing uh, where, where spouses were there talking about the exceptional family members uh, and how when you say like take a more holistic approach, uh, but these members were like at joint bases and they couldn't go use the local facilities there uh, because it wasn't their branch of service. Uh, they had to go to the closest, you know, if they were in the Navy, closest Navy base or the closest Army base, whatever branch of service they've been. And I believe we need to take a look at those issues and figure out with so many joint operations going on, how do we serve the members as a whole and not just the member of our Is this going to be a priority for you? Because we are sharing the same concerns. Mm -hmm. I think we just need to make certain that this is a priority. Yes, ma'am. Uh, if confirmed, taking care of our military families is definitely a priority. And, and I believe that's part of taking care of our people, which is, is one of my core, if confirmed, the, the core values that I will focus on. Uh, because, uh, you know, our, our families, whether it be housing or whether it be the exceptional military child program, uh, we need to ensure, like as, as I said, right, retain the family. Right. And, and definitely. That is right. I need to family. move on. Uh, Ms. Miller, I can see that you want to weigh in on this. Can I ask you to submit to me in writing your thoughts? on uh, how we improve this. Dr. Carlin, I do want to come to you because I think China and our nuclear strategy is going to be increasingly important. And we're about to run out of time. But as we look at the NDS, um, if confirmed, you're the one that is going to need to begin uh, authoring the next NDS. I want to hear from you uh, how you would prioritize China in that, and then also um, China expanding their nuclear arsenal and how that affects us. And we're about out of time, but I'd love to hear your response to those two. Thank you, Senator. I am profoundly concerned about this issue. Okay. And if confirmed, if I had the opportunity to lead the next national defense strategy, I can assure you that that would be a priority, ensuring the department understands how to approach this challenge and has the capabilities and the investments that are in place to ensure that we can prevail in it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 
Thank you, Senator Blackburn. Uh, there is a vote ongoing, uh, which I must attend. I will now recognize via WebEx Senator Warren, then I will recognize Senator Hawley, and also after Senator Hawley, Senator Tuberville. And I'll, by that time, I will be back to be able to recognize other members